Hello and welcome to another video tutorial about FreeCAD. In this video tutorial we are going to model this propeller like it is shown here on the screen. It is a propeller like it is used for uh, ships or for airplanes um, and um, we will do the modeling by using once more the insert helix operation and uh, we will do a sweep along the helix and we will also uh, talk about the draft array tool once more and uh, we will learn how to reuse sketches for more operations and um, we will learn how to use the dependency graph tool to uh, get more information about a solid model within FreeCAD. The version of FreeCAD I am using here is the 0 0.15 stable release on a Windows 7 64-bit system. So let's get started. The first thing is I'm closing this document here. I'm going to create a new empty document Let's switch to the part module workbench and the first thing we do is to insert a cylinder. We will select the cylinder in the tree view here. We will switch to a data tab and we will apply a radius of 20 millimeters and an aid of 30 millimeters to uh, the cylinder. We will switch to axometric view. We will do right click in the 3D view and select fit all to get a full view of the uh, inserted cylinder. The next thing we are going to do is to insert our helix to be able to model the first of the three blades of a propeller. So we click on this icon here to create a parametrized geometric primitive. We will select from a pull down menu the helix. We will apply a pitch of 30 millimeters, an eight of 10 millimeters, and a radius of 25 millimeters. The other two values are left to the default values. By applying an aid of 10 millimeters and a pitch of 30 millimeters, we achieve that uh, the helix will only go for one third of a total turn because we want to have three blades. So we want um, a model uh, to be uh, swept uh, only around 120 degrees. So we click on create. The helix is inserted here. We click on close. We switch back to axometric view and se select fit all. And the next thing is that we will uh, draw a sketch of our blade we will draw the sketch on the XZ plane. So let's switch to the Sketcher workbench. Let's uh, create a new sketch by clicking on the appropriate icon. We select the XZ plane. We click on OK. And we draw a rectangle just around here. Since the cylinder is uh, obstructing our view. We close the sketch. We do right click on the cylinder here. We choose toggle visibility to uh, hide the cylinder. We do right click on the sketch and say edit sketch. And here we will continue with our work. As you will remember, the cylinder we inserted got applied a radius uh, of 20 millimeter. As I have said before, under uh, 
a free cat, it is better to have overlapping solids when doing a boolean operation because we want to fuse all the plates to the cylinder in the end to get one uh, solid. So we will apply here a horizontal distance of a little bit less than um, 20 millimeters. So let's choose 15 millimeters. We will select these two points again and apply a vertical constraint, a vertical distance of 10 millimeters. We will apply here a horizontal distance of 50 millimeters and we will apply here a vertical distance of 5 millimeters. And we have finished the sketch for the blade. We will close the sketch. We will click in empty space of 3D view to be sure that nothing is selected. We will switch back to the part module workbench. And now we will do our sweep. So we click on the icon to uh, sweep. We can either do a double click on the sketch here or we can click on the sketch to select it and click on this arrow to, to add it to uh, the sweep profile. So I do a double click here. Now we will select the sweep path. So we click on the button to select the sweep path. We will select now this helix. We click on the button again to be done. We check create solid and we check the friended option because we want uh, the beginning phase uh, and, and the end phase of the sweep operation to be coplanar. I click on OK and here we go. The sweep operation is complete. So we just have created now our first blade. So now click, click in um, empty space in the 3D view to deselect everything. And um, maybe you have noticed that uh, there is a small difference from uh, how the operation is being performed in the part module workbench and in the part design workbench. In the part design workbench, if we uh, do a sketch and apply a pad or pocket operation, the sketch is turned invisible after the operation is completed. And here, the sketch and the helix are still toggled visible after the operation is finished. This is the difference in the workflow of these two workbenches. So if we would use now the draft array tool to uh, get free blades, we would uh, select the sweep, we would switch to the draft workbench, we would select the array tool, we will click on auto here and we will click on this arrow downwards to change the array type to polar. We will uh, leave all these values at their default value. We will just change the number polar, the number of the copies, to be 3. We will change the number x to be 1 and the number y to be 1. This would be the operation by using the draft array tool. But in this case we don't want uh, to do this operation here, we want it to do in another way. We want to reuse the sketches and the helices uh, two times more. So I'm going to select here one step back. I'm going to 
uh, toggle the visibility of the sweep here once more. So I select the helix here. Uh, one moment, I will switch back to part module workbench. So the helix is selected, and now I select Edit from the top menu, and I select Duplicate Selection. This is the same as copying it to the clipboard and pasting it back. So I select Duplicate Selection. I have now created another helix as, as a copy of the first one. I click on Edit Duplicate Selection once more to get a second helix. So if I select now helix 001, I have to change its uh, location in 3D space. So I click on the placement cell here, and then I click on these three dots here, and I change uh, the angle around the Z axis to be 120 degrees. This is the result of the operation. So I'm selecting the helix 002. I click on the three dots in the placement tab and change the Z value to be minus 120 degrees. I click on OK and we have all three helices uh, oriented correctly in 3D space. So the next thing is that we must duplicate the sweep as well. In FreeCAD I have noticed that uh, FreeCAD is able to do two instances duplication but not more than two instances. It is my personal opinion not to copy too many data to the clipboard because then maybe you will get into trouble with some uh, if, if the data has relations to our faces or our edges or things like that. So to be on the safe side and you only can copy uh, without problems sketches linked to one of the main planes. If the sketches are mapped to faces it will be a little bit more difficult to uh, copy and to duplicate them. So here I'm going to select the sketch, I click on Edit, Duplicate Selection, and I click on Edit Duplicate Selection again to get two uh, copies of the sketch. So I select now the sketch 001, I'm clicking here on these three black dots, I tick the box Apply Incremental Changes. I change this pull-down menu to the z-axis and I apply an angle of 120 degrees. As you can see here, the green highlighted sketch moved to the appropriate position in 3D space. I click on OK and I select sketch 002. I repeat this operation. I tick apply incremental change. I change the axis to Z and I apply an angle of minus 120 degrees. I click on OK and now we have to do two times a sweep operation. So I click in empty space in this case, but it is not really necessary. Um, it's just a habit from me to be sure uh, to to select or deselect everything correctly and uh, now we will use the utility to sweep. We will do a double click on sketch 001. This is the profile we want to sweep. We select the sweep path by clicking on this helix here. We click on done Remember to tick Create Solid and to tick Frenet and to say OK and the second blade is now ready.
and now we have to do the last operation so I click an empty space here once again I click on the utility to sweep icon I double click on sketch 002 I select the sweep path this helix here I click on done I tick create solid and I tick Frenet. I say OK and now I will toggle the visibility of these sketches I will toggle the visibility of a cylinder and I will hide the free helices so now we have four independent solids we have the cylinder and its three blades created in 3D space and um, the next thing we are going to talk about is how can we tell that these four are independent solids and not one complete solid. To get that, that sort of information uh, from a solid within FreeCAD we will use the dependency graph. This is uh, by clicking tools and then choosing dependency graph. But in order to uh, have the dependency graph available we need to install an additional library. We need to install the GraphVis library. It is hosted as a separate library on the internet on the homepage www.graphvis.org uh, I'll leave uh, the link in the description of the video on YouTube. No, uh, you don't need to worry. And uh, it is used to draw something uh, like a flowchart, you know. Uh, it is for graphical visualization. With uh, Debian based systems and maybe with other Linux distros as well, I uh, verified this with. Linux Mint you can install directly from a re repositories without any problem if you search for GraphVis, GraphVis will come up and you are able to install the library. For Windows users do have to visit the home page, go to the download page and uh, choose uh, after ag agreeing to uh, the license agreement uh, their um, package for Windows. The Mac users, uh, I'm not quite sure since I don't own a Mac, uh, please visit the homepage and have a closer look at the uh, installation instructions there. So if we have installed the libraries from Graphis, we can uh, click on Tools, Dependency Graph, and here we see that we have a helix, a sketch, and a sweep based on these two elements. Based on helix 001 and sketch 001, we have sweep 001, and we have inserted the cylinder. So, one, two, three, four separate solids. We close the dependency graph. We do a multi-select on the three sweeps and the cylinder and we apply a union and after having everything fused we run the dependency graph once more by clicking on Tools, Dependency Graph, and here you see everything runs to Fusion, and so we have one solid now. 
This is especially uh, useful when working in part design because if you have already noticed part module has a hierarchical structure it has a hierarchy here and uh, the top solid is displayed here and all its instances are uh, one uh, instance downwards they are inserted uh, he here um, as dependencies part design has a sequential workflow order so it is not clearly visible in part design at first glance uh, if you have several solids or one solid or what and if you are unsure because you have maybe downloaded a model from the internet or from a forum or wherever uh, from um, you can run the dependency graph which will tell you how many solids and which solids belong to uh, which operation and which catch and, and so on to get this information out of the solid uh, within FreeCAD. Okay, so the next step will be to do a multi-select uh, on these edges. So I select this edge here. I uh, click on Windows Control on the keyboard to do a multi-selection. Uh, when I click on this edge here, uh, I select this edge here, this one here, this one here, and this one here. And then I will apply a fillet to these edges. As you can see, the edges I selected are already ticked. And if I apply in this cell here a radius of 15 millimeter and click on OK, all these edges are rounded like this. And we have the propeller uh, model finished. Well, we have reached the end of today's lesson. I hope uh, it is useful for you and I did show some good things and some new things. And uh, as usual, you can leave your comments uh, in the, uh, on the YouTube channel. And, uh, well, maybe see you in another video. Bye!